this is our website directly, okay, donorsearch.net. Um, you click login right here. Um, some of you, if you've purchased online access to this site, or if you'd like to, you will get credentials to log in here, okay? Um, so when I log in here, it gives me a variety of other tools and functions. Um, I, I want to point out we only have about 15 minutes left, um, so uh, I'm going to go through this kind of fast. If you want to learn more, of course, you can reach out to any of us, uh, and we can help you out with that, okay? But uh, let's start right here in the middle with the integrated search. The integrated search is used to create those profiles the same as you would do inside of Bloomerang. Okay, now there's two reasons why you guys might want to uh, create a profile here. All right, the classic example, and we'll just use Kevin Plank again here, um, the classic example is because you don't know enough information. Okay, so if you only know his name, and that's Kevin Plank, Okay, if that's all you know, you can't really run a profile because it's not going to be accurate, okay, almost at all, okay, because you're going to get mixed data from every single Kevin Plank in the country, and with just a name, we can't identify which Kevin Plank you're talking about, okay. So if you um, add a state, that narrows it down, all right, and then we can add our real estate um, database to help you find more. So if you, all you know is Kevin Plank, you can assume that he lives in the state that you talk to talk to him in, um, you can search right there and now you have a full address. All right. Another thing this is capable of doing is finding middle initials and spouse's names. Okay. Now um, from only knowing his first and last name, you now have a full profile, all the information you would need to build a really great profile. Okay. So um, you can then take that information after you verified it, of course, make sure it's the same person you were, you were talking to. Um, you can put that database or that information into Bloomerang. Okay. Um, the other reason to search here is if you, you know, you may know all this information, but if this is a person who's never given to you, you know, you heard his name on the news, looked it up, you, you want to consider talking to him for a gift, um, but you have no real relationship, you may not want to add him to Bloomerang um, in that case. So you could do your research here and then say whether this is a good prospect to add or not. Okay? So you can do the research here and then pass it off to Bloomerang after the fact. Okay? Now some of our other tools are gift search. This is a way to look through for foundations and corporate giving. So you can type in the name of a company and hit search and it will show you everywhere we can find that company giving. So each line item here is a different annual report from a different organization thanking Under Armour for that gift. Okay? And you can sort by year or type or gift or anything in here. All right, if you scroll over to the right, you can even see uh, the category and the EIN numbers for the different organizations should you need it. Okay? Prospect Generator is a way to find new donors. All right? This is where you can search um, a cause. Right? You can choose any type of cause, and most organizations can choose a couple for themselves. Right? And then state, you'd want to just pick, a st uh, pick the state that you're located in. Right? So you're looking for a similar cause in your area. Right? You want to narrow it down like that. And now each organization that you see here is going to be a similar organization to you and likely to um, be able to give to you as well. Okay? So if you look at these organizations, each organization will identify donors that have given to them that are likely to give to you. So the next level is those donors. All right? Now, depending on the organization is whether they're going to show you corporate donors or foundations or trusts or individual donors. It all depends on how they um, you know, do their um, prospecting and so on. So you can look through this list, find who's likely to give to you. And if it's, if it's great and you're in your right area, in the right category, you'll probably recognize some of these donors. They probably have given to you before, but you'll see a few that you've never heard of. Okay. Either way, you can click one. Let's do Pet Zoo Alaska here uh, and search. And the next level is the gift search. Again, so this will identify where else that, that person or organization has given to. All right. So in this case, just two gifts to that organization. And right, if we pick another one, through the Rasmussen Foundation, you may find, okay, they've given to all over the place. 
right? So you want to use that information to identify if they're likely to give to you or not, okay? And then you can kind of pursue it after that. Now, um, if you do search an individual here, you can easily hop over to integrated search, type them in with the state that they're most giving in, and then pull up the whole profile, right? If you're giving from foundation or company, this is the information you need specifically. All right, the next tab is some search options. This will give you additional information based on what information you already have. So if you have an address, but you need a name and contact information, right there, you fill it in and we'll try to give you some info. All right, same thing, phone number will give you a name and an address. Email will give you a name and an address. And then if you're working with an uh, organization in the area, or you're just talking to an individual donor and you know where he works, um, you can search right here and identify the company and if they have a matching gifts program. Okay, so here you, we looked up Microsoft here. Um, they'll show you all the specific information you need to receive that matching gift, including forms and guidelines and uh, specifically who to contact. Okay, so basically if somebody gave you a gift, they work at Microsoft, you search it here, you now know everything you need to know uh, to receive that gift. This is really great in um, locations where the company is located. You may be talking to 15, 20, 300 different individual donors who work at that company. All right? It's great for small towns based around one major um, plant or one major company. Okay, so uh, Silicon Valley is a, is a perfect example. Okay, so you can search their company here and, uh, and find out more about matching gifts. Okay, next we want to look at a profile, okay, or a, a screening uh, example here, a portfolio is what I meant to say. Okay, so there's two ways to view it right here, portfolio down here and the executive analysis, which is right here. Okay, so first I'm going to pull up the executive analysis. I'm going to let that load. It's going to take a few minutes. Okay, that's basically populating all 204 profiles and then taking all the data and pulling it into one report. So we'll look at that in a second. Uh, but the other way, the portfolio comes up much quicker and much easier. Looks like my malware has updated. Isn't that great? Um, <laughs> moving forward, this is an example of a, a screening. Okay, so this is where we looked at 200 records, but we can just as that easy, easily look at 2,000 or 200,000 or 2 million. Okay, so we will screen all the records all at once, give you all the data side by side so that you can pair it and sort and filter against it. Okay, so if you scroll across, and I'm going to do this quick, so if you get uh, motion sickness, look away. But the first section is the yellow section. This is all information you provide us. Okay, the next area is the charitable gift section. This is all the charitable philanthropic data that we found for you. The green section is all of the wealth data that we found for you. Okay, we have some ratings and scores in the white section. And then if we zip past a few other little sections there, we get back to blue, and this is where we give you a breakdown of everybody in your file and who's giving to what type of cause. Okay, so if you're looking for a specific cause that they've given to, uh, you can sort and filter based on that. Okay, so I'm going to zoom right on, for, uh, right on back to the beginning and show you a couple data sets here. First is the DS rating. Great way to start segmenting a database is to click on DS rating. That's going to bring all your major gift donors, the existing major gift donors, whether they've given to you or not, are all right here. And then if you hold down the shift key, you can click on RFM total. That's going to bring you all the, the people with the best relationship with you to the top. Okay, so now you know Christopher Upjohn Light here has a great relationship with you. He's a major gift donor, but you probably already knew that. All right, so if I hold shift again and click RFM total again, this is going to reverse the search and show you all the people who are major gift donors but do not have a great relationship with you. And just so you know, this relationship score is based on this information right here. It's an RFM, so recency, frequency, and money. Okay, so these three data sets put together this RFM score, it's one or it's zero to three hundred. So we're saying that these people, this person gave a uh, hundred dollars, one gift in two thousand and eight. Right, this person gave in two thousand nine, one gift, five hundred dollars. Right, but all of these people have given five thousand dollars somewhere else. Okay, so 
you can take a look at, let's say, this person who gave them one gift, $50, four years ago. For some reason, they gave four years ago. Right? They had a reason to give. Because they're a major gift donor, your job is to find out what that reason was and if you can encourage it. Okay? And it'll help if you click right here on the profile link that will bring you straight to their profile and you can find out more about them. All right? In this case, they're making a $5,000 gift to the Buffalo Academy of the Sacred Heart. Okay? So now you have that data. So that's what a screening is for. And then all of these, um, well, not all of them because there's too many for that, but these are the summary data sets that could be imported into Bloomerang. Okay? Uh, the next section here is the executive analysis. Again, just to show you, it's under my portfolio and under executive analysis. Each batch here is a different batch or line item. The first one, of course, is all the individual searches you've run. Okay? But the point of the executive analysis is to highlight everybody that you screened with us as a whole. Right? And if that's a whole database, that's great because it will identify exactly what you want to know about your people. Okay? So first off, of these 204 records, 46 of them, or 22%, are already major gift donors. All right, um, 59 or 28 percent are DS1-2s, and 12 percent are DS1-3s. That means you have a total of 64 percent major gift opportunity. All right, and I'm I'm willing to bet that most of you would love to know how much major gift opportunity is available in your file. All right, in this case, we identified this. Uh, they gave this organization. Total, all, all 204 people total gave this organization almost 4 million. But those same 204 people gave 85, 86 million dollars to other organizations. Okay, so that'll show you how you're doing with them as opposed to other organizations. And then down here in this selector chart here, you see 13 other ways to look at the data. Right, my personal favorite is the DS1 1 Affinity. This takes only the people who have made major gifts and breaks it down by the relationship score to identify who's close to you. Each one of these you can open up and see exactly who's in, in, in that category. And you can look over here to see exactly who you're not doing a very good job with. All right, these people gave you one small gift a long time ago. Okay. So you can look at it like that. If we go back to the DS ratings chart, we can also show you that it's easily accessible as a table. It makes it a little bit easier to read it in bulk or as a map. This allows you to uh, look specifically at your major gift potential, um, especially if you're traveling. If you're going to send a major gift officer to travel to ask for a gift, maybe you can send them to a location where there are multiple people. Okay? And then if you zoom in specifically, you can even choose bird's eye view and get right up in it and find out exactly where these people live. So I would say that's a pretty nice house there all of these are. I would say most of these people have some kind of major gift capacity here, especially that guy. All right? But we can kick it back to a graph. And you can, of course, print this whole thing um, with the print to full analysis button on the bottom.